And welcome back to our two-player campaign. You remember what we were doing, Krista? Going to the diamond mine! Yeah, we're going to the diamond mine. Um, so you notice, you may notice that this has changed a little bit. I'm trying some of the automation here. Starting with this player mat, it tracks Isn't elements. What? Wasn't that over here? Yeah, the, the element was, but if you notice the big black border around it. Yeah. This whole thing is scripted and automated, so if you want to add an element, you push the create dark button and it moves it for you automatically. You can still move it on your own if you want, but... Um, and then when you're picking cards, put your lowest, or put whatever initiative you want in this number. In the P3. In the P3. And then once you're done with it, you press discard or lost. Um, if it's a continuous effect, you press active, it'll automatically move it down to your playmat. This card goes to this card and lost goes to burn. Yeah. Okay. The only thing I'm foreseeing being an issue is that it sort of increases the distance between the board and our player mat for using items and stuff. Um, another thing, if you do you see in the upper right that says battle interface? Your, yes. If you click that, it'll bring down a battle interface and. Basically, all you're going to be doing is pressing draw attack modifier whenever you attack. Uh, when you long rest, you'll press long rest. I think that's all you have to do. And when you press the Could attack... Hmm? Sort hand? Sort hand. I think it does by alphabetical or by card number. I number. don't know how it sort. I don't know how it... Anyways. But uh, it's like, for instance, try pressing uh, draw attack modifier. You see how it says Drew Miss Shuffle for me? No, no, not that button. You're in your battle interface. In your battle interface. Oh, oh, okay. Where did it do that? Oh, okay. So it drew a mod mo that drew modifier for you. It doesn't have a shuffle though, which I'm surprised with, but anyway. Isn't that what this is? This is for the monster deck. This is the monster uh, modifier. This is the health and XP? Yeah, cool. so you can add HP, lower HP. Um, once again, it doesn't really tell you what your HP is. It just automatically subtracts and adds it. Same thing with the experience. Huh, that's nice. It is, but... Or it's kind of far away from your board. That's what I'm getting at. That seems to be the only drawback to it. Um, also, the modifier decks over here, you just... Well, it, sh it should automatically draw them at the round, but for some reason it'll draw monsters that are not active, so I, the only thing I can think of is to pull them off until they're ready. Or maybe... Oh, cool. It even says what... Hmm? ...things is. Well, that's the boss. Oh. Oh, okay. Whenever Never bosses mind. do special one, special two, that sort of thing. So I'm going to try oh, yeah. it like this to hopefully make it so that it doesn't draw modifiers for these two guys because they aren't in this room yet. Um, if not, I'll pull the modifier off. I mean, it, I'm, I'm experimenting here. Um, I, is this the new one that you're supposed to be doing a video on? No, uh, this still isn't the most updated mod. Or the, the one that they're updating will be adding in full scenario setup and stuff. This is just some of the automation that they've added since, um, since Pat and I have played. But anyway... So we're back in Gloomhaven. We did some shopping at the end, I believe. Uh, you ended up I getting so. you ended up getting boots. I got a new helm and hide armor. So that means since we're in Gloomhaven, we can do a city event. Ready for a city mm -hmm. event? Yes. Okay. I've already pulled them out of here um, while I was waiting for you yesterday. <laughs> All right. You're walking home late at night when you hear some suspicious sounds coming from a nearby garden. You move to investigate, and a shadowy figure bolts in the opposite direction, carrying an armful of vegetables. Option A, give chase. Thieves must be brought to justice. Option B, the thief had the right idea. Grab some vegetables for yourself. So, good Samaritan hunt down the thief, or... Be a little greedy and steal some for yourself. Chase the thief! Oh, you're gonna be a good guy, huh? Alright. Of course! <laughs> of course. Aha! The figure overburdened with vegetables is no match for your speed. You quickly run him down and deliver him to the city guard. Thankfully, very little of the produce was damaged in the pursuit, and you are able to return it to the owner of the garden. Gain one reputation. 
So now we're negative one. <laughs> uh, and then the I'm other one, even. we would have uh, started with bless. Bless. Yeah. Wait, wait, I wanted to read that. I'm sorry. Looks like you make your own soup. <laughs> you make some soup. <laughs> so really? You, yeah, really? I guess. <laughs> really? How oh, rude. And I think that's all we can do in glue him and given we don't have any money, so... Uh, onto the road! Oh, ah. Walking a path between a small grove and a steep cliff, you suddenly find yourself facing a massive group of felled trees blocking the road. The placement of the trees seems odd, and you have a wary, <laughs> suspicious feeling about the whole situation. Option A. Clear the trees from the road. It is the best way through and will help other travelers. Or option B, take the time to find a way around the trees. Let's go around the trees. You sure you want to go around I'm the I'm trees? Mad. Well, because if we sit there and try and clear them all, I have a feeling we're going to be ambushed. But how, uh, you sure? Don't want to try, but the, you know, you just said you were going to be the whole good Samaritan thing. Clear the path for... I guess. I mean, if I you want to like go around, we'll go around. You're but... trying to tell me what to do. <laughs> Not everything is as it appears, remember. That's okay. We'll go around. No, let's clear it. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll be nice. <laughs> and die. <laughs> you be I mean, nice. we'll start the scenario with three less health. It's just, you know, how we do things now. Well, I'm, I'm just thinking from experience when it comes to physical stuff. Usually it's lose or, you know, discard a card or something like that. Could you waste your energy? I have no idea about that because I haven't played that long. I know. I, I'm. I'm just trying to say. So if we clear it, we will probably end up with less, start with less strength because we're tired. We're tired, but sometimes when you go around, you get ambushed by going around, and maybe they block the path to make you go around. I mean, again. Oh, I, I didn't think of that. That's true. See, I. I don't know, but so do you want to clear the trees? Or do you want to try going around? Let's clear them. All right, that'd be option two. Okay, if you have, all right, the first symbol is you, your spell weaver. Woohoo! The trees are too mass are too massive and dense to remove through conventional means, but with elemental power, they are destroyed and swept aside in no time, no effect. So it just gets rid of them. So yeah, if uh, the trees aren't part of an ambush, but that doesn't make them easy any easier. That's what I mean. So if we didn't have you or one of the other two special classes that we haven't unlocked yet, we would have had to have discarded two or three cards. I saved the team once again! Mm -hmm. And the bottom is everybody starts oh, with two hey. damage and then it goes back on. Because apparently when you go around, you get stung by thorns. I suppose if you go back that way, they're not cleared and so you have to. Clear, yeah, go do it back again. To yep. So yeah. Clearing is definitely the better option there, and it gets rid of it, so cool. I'm going to save quick. All right, and then we have arrived at the diamond mine. Ooh, ooh it's so pretty. So this is our second boss fight. Uh, the goal of which is to kill the merciless overseer, that's the name of the boss, and loot the treasure tile. So this is not one of those nice ones that give you items or something. This is just part of the objective. Um, so it's part of so we have to kill him and loot the treasure tile. We don't have to kill everything else. We just we only need to kill him and we only need to loot the treasure tile. So if there's enemies still up and those two things are done, that's fine. The snar is over them. But introduction. Make, like, like gold damage counters for the elites. Um. Yeah. I you technically could go and change all the colors for all the states. But that would take a long time, so I just used coins instead. And that's where, well, in, you know, in physical I form, I will be... It. In physical form, I'll have yellow dice to, to uh, uh, differentiate the two. Yes, how often are we going to play in physical form? When Isaac gets older. <laughs> okay. We've got a few years then. Okay. So, ignoring our geese, our geeses, our geese's warnings, that's that uh, quattrol that was warning us about uh, um, Jixera, you head to the diamond mine. 
Sinister machinations is, of course, a troubling phrase to throw around, but the phrase considerable reward trumps that in a heartbeat. Heading into the damp underground cavern, you were expecting to find a few scraggly verminlings to make easy work of. You certainly weren't expecting a pack of vicious hounds guarding the entrance. Finding this diamond may prove more difficult than originally anticipated. Alright, and basically, I uh, continue reading once we go through the door. Uh, okay, uh, I will give out some battle goals here. I'm probably going to have to do this. Hmm. I choose... I choose you, Pikachu! Yep. I'm not strong enough to do this one. Well, let's say that the monster is down to one HP. And then... <laughs> Jesus. Have to do four damage. Yeah. But okay. Yeah, okay. I'm not. I I have three at the most. I three at the most, and then you can draw a plus stuff. two or times two. I mean, it's not impossible for you. I mean, you also got to remember that I'm similarly built. I only got three attacks as well. Well, anyway, um, confidence in that. so do you want me to do the same opening that we have been doing to get to let you get your stuff going? What do you mean? Oh, yes. The wind and generate wind for you. Yes. Okay. This room, we will definitely need it. I don't remember the other one I did with that summon. That's up to you. Would that be bad to do in this room? Because there's three of them. But he'd be awful close. You can also summon the thing behind you, remember? I get to choose where to summon him? Yeah, it's any it's anyone adjacent to you. Um, I forgot to mention, so you can start any one of these three rows, or one, or the four back. So I, I just arbitrarily placed you there. You can be here, here, or wherever you want. How far do they attack? They run in melee. Oh, so it, it's not gonna matter because we're in close quarters? What's not gonna matter? How far back I am? Well, remember, they'll attack whatever's closest first and whoever's fastest. So if you stay behind me, they'll focus me. If you're here, they might potentially focus you. Unless I can get over here or here or something to draw them away, but again, that would work too. Yeah. And then your fat, whatever one you, not your fastest one necessarily, but whatever one you want your initiative to determine by, that's, this is this one? Yep. Okay, just making sure. Okay, let's give this a try. Um... Start round. Hey! That seemed to have worked for these other decks. Okay. How does it... So how is it supposed to do that? It just knows what's on the board? Or what's in here? No, but that's that's why I had to fix the decks the way I did. If these two were flipped over, it would draw a card for them as well. Oh, That's yeah. why I have the decks flipped over so it doesn't draw one there. But anyways, and uh -huh. then if you click the button in the upper left, this is initiative tracker, it'll tell you who goes in what order. So the hounds go first with their six. It already six... has that out. Huh? It already has it out. Oh, because you. Oh, it stopped. I don't know. Well, well, don't don't click it. Leave it. <laughs> it. It goes away when you go over the board. I don't know. Or you've been clicking it. Um. Anyway, uh, so the hounds go first. Unfortunately, uh, the elite they're goes. Really fast. Yeah, they're they're really fast. The elite moves four, and then it's going to attack and immobilize. Well. He is right here, so we'll make him do that. And he's got an attack of zero, so two damage. Two damage. Uh, that means you can't move. I get two damage. 
All right, it's 10, that's good. And then I cannot move. And then the hound number two is gonna do the same thing. He's going to attack me for two as well. One. I gotta, okay, one for me, there we go. And then the other one's gonna go one, two, three. Which he can do and attack me again for times two, oh. so that's four. One, two, three, four. So I am down to five health now, Krista. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Um, This thing would have ticked. So I actually have two more health. My new armor that I got. Mm. Okay, uh, now it's my turn. So I was going to run up and disarm the elite so he wouldn't hit me, but now I'm kind of hesitant because they've got retaliate, which kind of sucks. Okay, my my initiative tracker only has the hounds. Oh, you're Enox brute. Uh huh. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> it's only got all the ones For active some on the board. I thought the, the elite was one separate. No. The elites just move first. No, that would make no sense. My brain's not working. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Anyways, come on. Well, I'm just wondering. Do I? Do I attack the elite because he's going to hit me for two back or should I go for that? I'm going to go for the normal and I'm going to hit him for two. So I'm going to draw attack modifier two minus one. Great. I do a one damage and disarm to the non elite. And then I also take a damage back because of retaliate. I also generate you wind. And then immobilize goes away. Um, I'm also gonna pop my healing potion. One, two, three. What did my boots do? Where's my boots? Your boots oh, add plus yet. two to your movement when you move. So it is now your turn, Krista. Okay, well, I'm gonna use that wind and activate this. How, okay, where's the... The consumes oh, on the here. right side. Whip wham. Nope, oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, wait. No, mm -hmm. yep, I know. I, I stopped. Does it add a track or two, too? Uh, apparently not. Maybe. Well! I know, right? <laughs> can do everything but that? Okay. Just Trying it out. And then summon my dude. Can you move the keyboard away from your phone? How's that? I don't know. Depends when you press keys. I'm pressing keys. Okay, then it, it seems fine. Okay. Active. Oh, he was the active, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you give yourself experience for that? No, I got two. Two. Uh, there is an experience thing. Yep. There we go. Woo okay. That is the end of the round. All right, now we get to pick cards again. Well, I'm really hesitant to attack these guys <laughs> because they hit kind of hard. So I think I might, uh, I don't know, shield in place or something like. Oh, and they both have retaliate. Yeah, wow. exactly. Does that only, that's only for melee, right? That's only for melee, and if you kill him, they do not retaliate, so... Makes sense. I'm just breath. gonna hope that you kill breath. them. Breath! Breath! Um... Well, I want you... What do I want for a top? I don't really care for a top, to be honest. Um... Actually, you wouldn't be a bad for a top. Because if they attack me... Okay. Yeah, so you and your summoner are both safe, essentially. 
Uh oh. Uh oh, what? Isaac just sighed. It's only down for like 10 minutes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes that's how he do. Why is it not? Okay. Hmm? It wasn't. It wasn't like staying flipped. Is it too early to use a burn card? <laughs> you are the spell weaver. And by the way, you've already used two. <laughs> True. <laughs> but those are like they stay. They're still burn cards, but I mean, you got How three targets. Three, six, and four. This is nice because then you can see both cards. Mm hmm. Whereas before you could only see the bottom one. Mm hmm. Ready? Um, I think so. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Start round. Nice. Alright, Hounds are going 72. They are attacking, moving, and attacking. Alright, I'm going to... Are you planning to kill or try to kill three of them? Yes. With your burn? Yes, because then I got also got the plus two attack. Okay, well then I will pop this. And I will use the top of this to gain retaliate. So if they do end up attacking me, although, ah, god damn it, if you don't kill them, they're going to pierce through this shield and it's completely useless. I'm just wondering, should I try taking one out or softening one of them up? And now the elite is going to hit the hardest, but I also have my summon and me. Yeah, your summon's going to hit the elite. And you need, are you going to... I have three your... plus two so that I can hit for five, and ah. I can use my goggles. Ah. Sure you want to save your goggles for the next turn? I can do that. Or you have I to mean, have I a can... long rest to get it back. Yeah, that's fine. Either way, I mean, there's only three in here, so we could long rest before we hit the door. I don't think I'll need to, though. Okay, I'll just trust that you're good, and I'll just sit here. So, go ahead. Okay. Uh, your summon's gonna go and attack the elite. He's already in range, so yes. He Draw goes on my mod, right? Yep. Uh, how do you... Oh, here. Plus one, so how much did he do? Um, three plus one? Yeah, three plus one, so four. four. One, two, three, four. All right. He's down to two health now. I can kill them as uh, long as I don't miss. Well, okay, if you're, I'm gonna go. I was gonna say, with if you're what? using your advantage, then you're fine. Then you don't need to use well, your power I potion. I kind of have to, don't I? Your advantage. The, the crackling goggles. air. This, your advantage oh. is from the goggles. You want me to use that? I thought I was gonna save it. If you you said you don't want to miss, that is the only way you can guarantee you don't miss. Unless I'm lucky. Unless you're lucky. How lucky do you okay. feel? Well, um, I thought you said you were going to long rest before going in the door. Yeah. You knocked down the door before I... Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, so you're targeting uh, all three. Yes. And then you're generating fire. So I'll generate fire. And then give yourself three experience. Don't I have to hit them? Oh, for targeted. For each targeted, so you're targeting three. Okay. Start attacking. I hit number two first. Okay. So I'll draw two modifiers. Plus zero or plus one. So plus one. And you're Oh, he's getting hit for six. <laughs> Okay, so number two is dead. So do I get one experience no. when I put the tractor on that, or when I 
hit you, the next one. When you reveal it. Okay. So now the elite. Mm-hmm. Plus zero or plus zero? But that's still five. Okay, that's five then. He's dead. Okay. And then the last one. Plus one or minus one. Well, you completely trashed the entire room. Woo woo! And then make sure to move your crackling ear twice more and get that experience. So do I get two or one? One. When you reveal, you get the experience. Okay. Damn it. What? You're in my way. Oh no. Why were you trying to do? Loot all that. You have a loot card with you this time? That that Oh no, never mind. That was a different one. I thought the one that you lost all your cards the bottom was loot. So never mind. Well, I'm going to use the bottom of the other one to base move to and grab that. Okay. So since I don't need to attack. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. This one needs to be discarded. This one is... There. There we go. Okay, uh, since they're dead, I'll just do end of round. it moves it that's cool uh-huh well the hounds are gone so i'm gonna move them aside actually they're not gonna show up anymore so i'll just get rid of them um so are we really gonna just delay two turns or should we go in there delay two turns because you said you want a long rest before getting that back mm -hmm. would it be beneficial for me to move and then long rest like to you said, okay, how does using all this last card thing work? But I guess no, I don't want to do that yet, because I still have... I don't know. I'm gonna open the door. Okay. Go ahead. Um, so if I long rest, I just... What? What do you mean, just what? You can't long Push rest right now. Push the button? Now. You can't long rest can't? right now. Why? You only have one card in your discard pile. I guess. You guess. Um, let me think about this. <laughs> wow. What? I have, like, all move fours in my... Do you still need healing? Yeah. How badly? I'm down three right now. I think I'm gonna move up to the door, but not go through it, and then next turn go through. How does that sound? Okay. So I'll go late. Turn your vibrate off, please. Good. If it'll... Oh, wrong one. There. It's like I said, I am delaying one turn here. And then I'm gonna go through the next turn, okay? What are you doing? I don't know, because I want the monies. So then go get some monies. I will use this one. I mean, I guess I don't need to go super fast, so. 
Well, if you're gonna heal me before I move, it'd be nice if you go fast. No, because then I can't move, and I'm just stuck there, ain't I? If, yeah, I guess. You're fine. <laughs> okay. I won't need in the next room. <laughs> this one. Good? Yeah. Hopefully. You go first. Wonderful. And that's all. <laughs> Great. <laughs> One. Wait, two, oh, never mind that at the bottom. All right. So this turn we're going to go in there. Where'd they go? Where'd what go? Did you put them in discard? Yes. They're not on top. Oh, there it is. For some reason, they went on the bottom. I don't know. Well, I'm going to try to run up and whack something. And then next turn... I have no idea what I'm doing next turn. Hopefully not dying. Let's put it that way. Oh, I should have done this one. Although I don't have anything to attack, so it wouldn't have Hmm. I wonder how that works with opening new rooms. What? Like when I... Because we're going to open up the new room and then there's going to be the bosses and the scouts in there. Mm -hmm. But we've already determined our initiative. Are you ready to go? Yep. Oh, I never ended around before. Okay. So, you go first. What are I'm you doing? To open the door. <laughs> Do I open the door? But then I'm in your way. I can move through you. Oh, you can? Yes. You should have probably also gone later than me. So that when That's I That's the latest one I had. Okay. Look, I have 26 and 7. Last turn, you had an 80-something and a 70-something. I didn't just... think I would need those this round, so... Or in the so next So the room, reason so... why you want to go later than me is so I open the door, and then your summon actually moves. Because right now, your summon technically went first and didn't do shit. And now you go. I was hoping you had something first. You are guess... much faster than me. Should I open the door? Yeah, if you want to open the door, sure. Am I going to die? I don't know. So, okay, where, what are you doing, first of all? Which card I mean, are you attacking. using to move? Which card are you using to move? Uh, there's no element, so probably the mana bolt. You're using the mana oh, bolt wait. to move? Oh, wait, I only have two. I couldn't get there. You could, if you use the boots. True. That's why I'm asking, what are you doing? The boots work on the base movement? Yes. Yep. Any movement. I mean, I did also want to long rest. Long rest in the midst of a boss battle. Yep. I should have done that now. Might not have been a bad idea. the boots and use the mana bolt. Get to the door. Die. 
one, two, three. You also do have one more movement left, so if it's really, really hairy, you could back up. True. Okay, so now we get to add all this other crap. What are those? These are boulders. Oh, so they look like piles of meat. <laughs> piles of meat. Remember, we're in a diamond mine? Maybe they're bunches of corpses! Bunches of corpses. Where is this last one? Right here? Did I do that right? I did. Okay. And these are stun traps. So they don't do damage, but they stun you. Which is not good if you touch them, so don't do that. The treasure tile is way the hell back here. Of course. And the boss, guess what? <laughs> it's right in front of him. Of course. Does the treasure count as loot? Uh, yes. The thing would say, specifically say, do not loot any tokens or treasure tiles, yes? Ah. I can neither confirm or deny should be your proper answer. Okay, so we got three elites. Jesus. Uh, and two normals. Did you flip them? No, I did not. Should I? Well, first do that shuffle. Put it up here. Shuffle it. And then click draw. But it's not on all. Oh, There's the draw button. There's a draw button. Click the draw button. There you go. One, seven, yep, one, eight, one, seven, eight. One, two. Summons Verminling Scout. Oh, great. <sighs> Let's see, I'm trying to remember. Given that summit, it doesn't actually get to go because nothing goes on the same turn it was summoned. So, uh, anyway, so now it's. Oh, I gotta place these guys yet. Yeah, here we go. No, no, you don't. They can. That's it. Jesus. There we go. So now you have one more movement, and your thing is a range three attack, so you want to actually get in there. I will be yeah. able to go before the scouts, fortunately. So I can probably get in there and whack something before they hit you, so. Since you get a range three, you basically either can go here and hit this guy, or go here and hit this guy. But if you're going after the scouts, I probably want to go after the scouts because the rest of the elite's going to go after me, right? Oh, no, wait, they're, they're all scouts. Uh, let's see, they are moving two spaces. So if you're here, this guy cannot reach you because he's only moving two but spaces. This guy can. So kill him. They've got three health and you've still got your crackling lightning. In fact, the elite has five health and you've still got your crackling lightning, which means you got a well, base. I could attack and kill him. In theory, yep. I'll do that. Okay. This thing's used, right? Like, it's only for the one, yeah, action. Okay. So yeah, then I'll attack the elite. Okay. So you're using flashing burst to attack, so you generate a light. Either way, it doesn't matter, whatever you want to do. And then you do a three attack plus two for your crackling air. So a five attack. Yep. Plus zero, and he's dead. Woo woo! So let's go at number and one. And that card is used, right? Yeah, the crackling air is gone. You didn't experience. Yep. No, tracker. No, I want take, to you gotta take the tracker out it. first. It's it's it's, a, it? it's on right here. It's a weird oh. thing with tabletop. Yeah, I was trying to, but I was grabbing the wrong thing. And then discard your cards. Uh, I didn't burn any now, did I? No, okay. Okay, now the boss gets to go. Special two. He summons a dude. 
Oh, I, 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 sorry, I gotta open, uh, read the first thing. You move through a tight crawl space clearly more suited to the rat-like vermilings into a large chamber full of rubble and vermiling miners on high alert. Toward the back of the chamber, a man in a dark robe cracks a whip and begins spitting orders at the miners, who turn their pickaxes away from the stone walls and towards you. Boss Special 1, all Verminling Scouts immediately take an extra turn using the attack card drawn for them this round, which is not this. And Special 2 is the Merciless Overseer summons two normal Verminling Scouts. Okay, so he will go, he will summon two normal Verminling Scouts. That really sucks. Three and four. Uh, but those number three and four does not go this turn. The other ones do. Uh, okay, so then it's my turn. I have a move four. Oh, wait. Uh, two normal summons. You son of a bitch. You're going to waste my really big attack. And that means they don't drop coins either. One, two, Wait, what? Three. Who doesn't drop coins? Or drop coins? All oh, the summons? Correct. Four. And I'm not going to waste my boots, so I'll just do that. And then use the att uh, attack top of that for a four attack. Minus one, so I kill number three. He does not drop a token. Can you hear this at all? Hear what? Kitten is like rubbing up against the phone. No, I do not hear her. Oh, I guess I would have gotten plus one attack because I moved four. Yeah, so I do four damage to him. He's dead. That's fine. Who's okay. dead? Scout? Yeah. yeah, the scout number three that was spawned. Okay, now the elites go. They got a movement of two, starting with the lower initiative. One, two. One, two. Leapfrog! One, two. One, two. So he's going to hit me. He's going to do two damage. Wait, didn't I go first? Wouldn't he be targeting me? He would have to move one more space to get you. I thought they targeted whoever... Is closest first. Which ah. I am closest. Notice he would have to go one, two, three spaces to get to you? Yes, I realized that. I okay. just thought they targeted whoever went first, not... So he does two damage, minus one for my shield, so I take a damage. And that's the end of the round. Now I need two short rests. You know, I think I'm going to do that as well. Of, well, that's fine. Of course. Of course. Okay. Now, do I take a health and then pick another one? Right? If that's the one you can't lose, then yeah. Yes, that is the one I can't lose. That gives me all my damn cards back. Then you have to take health. Do you shuffle and then grab another one? Yep. I, I do. It doesn't really matter, statistically speaking. I didn't know if there was a rule. like. Nope. Because technically you already shuffled it. So it's random which card is second. Eh, that's sad, but I can live without it. Let's see, can the boss be disarmed? He cannot. So there's no point to me playing that. Well, I can go get the treasure tile this round. He can't be disarmed? Nope. He can't be a lot of things. Yeah, as you get higher up in the levels to bosses, you can affect less and less. They're OP! Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. I think I'm gonna go with the treasure tile and whack the boss. Oh, it just sucks that- I can do this. This works too. We still have that um, element, right? Okay. What? I said we still have that element, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yep. Still got the element. I'm sort of going to ditch you here. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, wait. If I do that, I can't shit. <laughs> 
on. Oh my god. Hmm. He's so far behind. Yeah. What is your initiative? 54. Well, I'd like to do that. Well, that's where I'm going to end up anyways if I do that. I forgot to mark his health. Hold on. How much health does he have? He has 8 times the number of characters, so he's got 16 health. And when he does an attack, he does the number of scouts present, which is currently 5. So he hits pretty damn hard. Um, so maybe you should be attacking scouts. Let's do this and that. Well, you gotta kill him to, you know, win the scenario, but yeah, scouts would help. You ready? I think so. Start round. You go first. Actually, your summon goes first. Point, point. Hooray! Okay, now you go first. Or now you go next. Alright. I am going to I'm debating if I should move and attack the boss or just attack the scouts sitting here. I am gonna get behind the boss, so if anything you should move and maybe back up. <laughs> Draw them into the back room. Closer to my my summon? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna attack number five first. Okay. I keep looking at the wrong cards. With the mana bolts, so that's two, and then use the light, so that's three. Okay. And you get an experience? Hmm? And you get an experience? Yes. Um. I think I'm gonna wait to use that potion yet. Typically best to use it on multi-target things. Yeah. You get more use out of it. Not worth it yet. Okay. So I'm gonna attack it for three. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh. That hurts. So <laughs> do one damage to number five. Okay. Well, at least I used that element and <laughs> I one a point. Yeah. I'll move. That's four moving, right? Yep. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Alright. Now okay. my summon can. Um, the boss is attacking this turn, so that's a great time for me to have my disarm. Oh, wait, he can't disarm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Well. Does the boss go? No, the scouts go first. So, if I, I still want to go behind the boss and whack him. So, I'm gonna go... Well, if I get that, he won't actually move then. Well, then the skull can move up and still hit me. So I do want to end up on the coin. Okay, I'm going to go one, two, three. End up behind him. And then I do attack two. Attack one damage to the boss. He cannot be disarmed. Yeah, two times an eight times character. I also generate wind, which I plan to use next turn, if that's okay with you. Yeah, I don't have anything that I can use it. Discard. Discard. Uh, can the boss be poisoned? Yes. All right. I will. I will have poisoned the boss then. 
What's the purple lightning bolt? Curse. Poison oh. is the symbol. Ah, oh, the skull. Makes sense. Which means he takes more damage now. Poison. What? Is that why you said Isaac Shield is poisoned? Because it has skulls. Oh, green skulls, yeah. Well, those are great. So. Green, what are you talking about? On my screen, it's a gray. It's it's green. Trust me, it's green. Anyways, uh, so the scouts are gonna go starting with the elite number seven. They're moving four. One, two, three, four. They're gonna uh, try to go after you because they can't get to me. One, two, three, four. I believe the other ones go four as well. That's scary. One, two, three, four. Uh, he can't get to me, so he's gonna go one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Uh oh. Why do you go there? Why not towards me? Because your summon's quicker. Uh, he's gonna but hit. He could... <laughs> so he's gonna hit for a base zero damage. So he does no damage to your summon. Good. Okay, the boss has a range three. Let's see, he can only attack me, so what he's gonna do is he's gonna take a step back. And he is going to hit me for how many scouts are present? One, two, three, four, five. Minus one, so four damage. Five damage, minus one for my shield. So four damage to me. Ow. He should have helped with the scouts. Anyway, uh, okay, that is the end of the round then. Like I said, I'm going to use the wind. I'm going to go as quick as I can. So my scout would take a step back and attack this one, right? Yep. Or would he just attack that one? He would attack the closest one. Okay. This is gonna suck. Well, just hope that he doesn't pull a special one. Well, not just that, but all mine are really slow. Well, that's why you need to save your fast ones and pair them with the slow ones instead of with each other. Hint, hint, nudge, I'm nudge. I'm for attacks. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do what best fits the situation, not how fast. Well, if you want to go fast, that's what you gotta do. Ready? Yeah. All right. I go first, then the scouts, then you. So, what is the boss doing? The boss is special one, which means the scouts get to go again after you. Uh, fortunately, oh, the scouts wow. are just moving and looting, so they're not doing anything important. Which means... I won't die. Yeah, they're just gonna get really close to you. Um, I'm going to burn the air. No, not create the air. Burn the air. And do four damage, pierce to the boss. Five damage, six with poison. Boss is down to nine health. I get an experience. And then I generate an earth and heal two. What did you say? Finally. Finally what? Gaining experience. Yeah, can't hold a candle to burning 10 cards in one round. <laughs> okay, uh, so the scouts are going to go starting with the elites. They are moving plus one with jump, so four plus jump. One, two, three, four. I'm just looking for points, what I'm doing. Um, the only coin is right here. And then he's going to go one, two, three. 
Scout 2 is going to go here. And loot. Scout 5 is right there. Scout 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh okay. my god. That's what they're doing. Now it's your turn. Or rather, you summon. Take the step back. Yeah. And now he's going to target the elite, since the elite is the fastest of them. Okay. Do they have, like, shield or anything? Nope. So I just got to do five damage to him. That's all. Draw that plus two. That is not a plus two. All right, so seven takes... It has two damage. Two damage, all right. And then it's your turn. Well, I am. You know what? I'm gonna take the well, no, because I'm muddled on two of them. You can move first and then do muddle, or then do the attack. You know, like take a step back and then you only muddle on one and then hit the yeah, other. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll, I'll do that. Then I'm gonna hit those three, and I'm gonna use my potion. Okay. So that's plus one. Yep. And so, so you got one, two, three, four three targets. Left. So you get four experience. Uh, you generate earth, which is already strong. And then earth. start attacking. Uh, the first one's All muddled. Right. Start with two. So what is muddled then? What I've never been muddled before. Sure you have. You've done this before. Uh, you draw two and pick the worst one. The worst one. Okay. Plus one or miss. So you miss this guy. Uh, but that's okay. So does this get them reshuffled before the next hit? I was just about to say that. So what happens now is you keep drawing. So your miss is gone. You can't miss on the next ones. So that's good. So now hit the elite. Draw one times two. So you do 8 yeah. damage to the elite, which will kill it. Yeah! Give me a sec to get rid of that. This one does drop a coin. Oh, fuck. They're gonna go steal it. Do you remember what? which one of these was spawned? One of um, them... I think these two were over here, so I think it was this one. Okay. So I'm just gonna mark that quick so we'll say four and five drop a coin whether or not that's true good enough anyway i'm pretty sure that was those two are the ones that were here because they went here and then jumped this way uh, all right uh now for number seven plus one so that's how much uh three four so five all right that'll kill it Last one. Last one. Plus zero, so how much is that? Four. That's enough. Yay! You're welcome. What do you mean you're welcome? Killing all these dudes by myself. <laughs> now you're gonna... Oh, you're, I was gonna say you already moved. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I want to loot, though. Look at all that. Now they're gonna steal it and destroy it. Well, I can make him go here if you really want. <laughs> There's ambiguity between the two, so we can choose, so we'll do that. There, now you have two coins. So that was their... I just did. This one was here. He's going to move up to your summon. Yeah, what about so. the other guy? He's already next to you, so he's not going to move. But then why did that one get destroyed? Because when they... they, land on it? they No, they have a loot one action, which means they loot anything adjacent. Oh, okay. That's I could have done this and lost those two coins, but I figured you'd want them, so we'll do that. Uh, so you you lost this card, you burn this card, and then you get this card, right? What? You burned this card. So put it in yes. the burn pile. And then you mm. discard that one. Okay, you're down to three cards, so you may want to get your shit back. <laughs> <Short rest. laughs> Probably a good idea. And now the boss isn't going to hurt me that much if he attacks again. Mm. 
He said it's two times the amount of vermin? No, his attack is how many vermilings there are. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So. Two. I don't like this card at all. Ah, uh, so we're gonna do that, and then... Did you end the turn? Oh, yeah, sorry. Thanks. No! That was weird. I didn't see it. What happened? No, I heard it in the other room, and then I heard it on the phone. Hmm. You saying no. Oh. How many cards I got left? Four? Yeah, let's be a little conserved. I mean, I'm going to short rest after this one, I think. So we'll just do this. Okay. Ready? Yep. Let's go. All right. Uh, so your summon goes first. Scots are attacking range in place. The boss is moving and attacking. Yep. So which one is she going to attack? Mm, or either does it matter? Does yes, it... it matters significantly. Which one? Which one which is it going one... to attack? This one. Nope. I thought she said the one that goes first, and the it's one that was... number two. Okay, when she was here, which one's closest? Mm -hmm. This one. Okay, so that's but the one she's going to. Distance. Nope. She's going to oh, focus... She back to attack it, so... Yes. Okay. She focuses the whatever's closest first. Okay. Zero, so... Three. That kills it. Yeah, yeah! That's the last one to drop a coin. Okay, and then it's your turn. So... I can attack it with the muddled. I'm just no, I'm just wondering maybe you shouldn't get your cards back. Cause I've got an attack on the boss here. He's gonna run up and whack me, and then I just gotta get the chest, so you know the boss is almost dead. So if I move use this one to move and then attack? Yeah, you could attack it and then move. So like you could attack with this. Move at that. Get well, when I want to move and then attack, so I'm not muddled. Yes, that's okay, a, that's so what I'm, I'm saying. Maybe that. instead of getting your cards back, you just exhaust. Or you could long actually. I... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to kill it this turn. You could long rest. I might do that. What? What are you doing? Well, I. I don't. Well, I already did my turn. Yeah, th th I meant next turn. I can't long rest now. Next turn, long rest. Okay, so I am going to do that then. I'm going to grab that coin. <laughs> and then I'm going to attack it and use this. Okay. Whoops, wrong button. So you get one experience? Yes. And that's three. Two, three. Okay. So, four. Yeah, uh, kills it. Yay! That one does not drop a coin. Yep. Oh, did you shuffle your deck? You did not. Whoops. Okay, so let's shuffle that. And pull two more cards. Okay. Okay, yeah. So it didn't matter. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, uh, so that was your turn. So discard your cards. Oh, yeah. I am going to move and loot the chest. And then I'm going to hit the boss for three damage. Three damage, four with poison. One, two, three, four. He has five life left. I also can experience for that. Okay. 
Okay, uh, the scouts are dead. Uh, the boss is next. The boss is going to go one, two. Oh, he only has two movement. Maybe I should have taken a step back and knock at the chest. Ah, eh, there's no scout, so he does a zero attack to me. One damage, which gets blocked by the shield, so zero damage. Okay. So if I'm long resting, I just push the long rest button? Um, actually, I think you should just short rest and be done. Or I should be fine. What if I don't want to? You want to exhaust, right? And if I kill the boss this turn and you long rest, you're not going to exhaust. Dang. Okay. Right. I guess. I'm gonna try going as quick as I can. That's gonna be a nice thing. It's like, well. Uh... I kinda wanna get experience, so we'll just use that with this. And if I don't kill him, the next turn, do that. Well, with that, it's gonna be a four attack. Um, could I do better? Now, with that, is a speed, so if I. Well, he's next to me. I could just get two attacks in on him. Probably be better to do that. We'll do that with... This? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So you're sh you short-rested. And that means you're down to one card, so you can't play, which means you are removed from the board. So you can mark one of your... Well, we'll wait until after the scenario, but... You got another exhaust! Yay! Spellweaver has no initiative. Um, end round. Okay, it breaks when someone's lost, apparently. Okay, whatever. Boss special one. He will... The scouts immediately take a second turn. Since there's no scouts, they don't do shit. So that's really nice. Um, I will attack top with this for three damage. One damage, two with poison. And then I'll attack with the next one for... I should check this. Okay. Uh, attack with the next one for attack 2. Minus 1, plus 1, so I do 2 more damage. Because of poison. I do get an experience for that. So, then it's his turn. I guess he could have long rested, but he wouldn't have done anything. But uh, The skulls go again, which doesn't mean anything because they don't go up. So then it's this turn. I'll go quick and try to whack it and kill it, hopefully. We'll do this, I guess. So next turn. Boss is 14, special 2. I am 10, so I get to go first. I am going to move 4. Or wait, should I attack first and then move? Yeah, I'm going to attack first. So I do 2 damage. 2 damage, 3 with poison, the boss is dead. And then I go and grab a coin with my move. Alright, we have successfully completed the scenario. What was your battle goal? To loot 5 things. Loot 5 money tokens. Ah, yeah, so the, the treasure tile doesn't count for that. So you only got three, I see. I got loot a treasure tile, which I did. So I finally get a check mark as a battle goal. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see, I think it was like six bonus experience. So I get 11 experience. You get 19, Jesus Christ. You get three coins at two piece. Scenario, I'll probably get another level. Great. <laughs> okay, let's read the conclusion. With the overseer dead and the diamond in hand, you head back to Jexera to claim your reward. 
Her bodyguards escort you inside the manor where you find her somehow different, more harrowed and grim. Wonderful. She exchanges the diamond for a large purse full of coins. This will serve beautifully as a focus for the incantations. I wonder if the cultists even knew what they had here. With this, I can summon an entire army of undead. She turns to you with a strange glint in her eye. So then, are you ready to overthrow the military of Gloomhaven and put control of the city into the hands of the Merchants Guild? Or do you not have the stomach to effect real change? So we've unlocked Gloomhaven Square A and B, depending on if we want to help her or not. Um, I will. Oh, and then we also get Global Achievement, The Dead Invade, and 20 gold each. And nice. plus one prosperity. Okay, let me revert it back here. All right, uh, so you got 19 experience and 26 gold. And I got 11. But I did finally get a check mark. How many experience did I have? You got 19 experience. No, how much did I have before that? I have no idea. Here, give me a sec. I will reload again. No idea. Helps if you do the math before you start clicking. <laughs> okay. You had 72. Okay, so I was right then. For some reason I thought I had 75. I was like, wait. Wait a second. Oops. Okay. And you said 26 gold? 26 gold, yes. We are one prosperity short of being prosperity level two. Oh, wait, there's already a button there. Button? Button? Who's got the button? We have completed the diamond mine. We have unlocked Gloomhaven Square A and B. And we have unlocked the Dead Invade, wherever that is. Come on, zoom in, please. The Dead Invade, there we go. So, now that you got more money, have any interest in buying something from the shop? I'm not sure what would help you at this point. Maybe the bow to get through armor, there's... but. Huh? I was gonna say, there's nothing really. Benefit me really. A bless. You want to pay ten gold to bless? Yes. For the next scenario. <laughs> so subtract ten gold. I will be doing that as well. I think, because I'm pretty sure. Let me just check the shop first. For ten gold, twenty gold. I don't think there's anything. Maybe a shield, which would save one health. How do you add the bless? I'll, I'll show you that in a second. Yeah, screw it. I'll just do that. Okay, uh, so Plus the bless... Three. What? What? Plus three? That's my attack modifier deck. That's I eventually get to unlock that, yeah. I get to add one plus three. You oh, get to yeah, add four yeah. plus twos to yours at some point. Anyways, so the way the bless works is you just grab two of these blesses. Oh, okay. And then when we start the next scenario, you can throw it in there. For now, I'll just set it in your discard pile just so I know that it's paid for and ready to go. Yep. Um, now it's time to clean up, but I assume that's the only scenario you want to do, want to do tonight. Yeah, I'm tired. Okay. We will call it there and decide whether or not we want to help Jixera next time. So, good night. Good night. Oh, good timing.